Momentum. Momentum is the mass of an object times its velocity. You've probably noticed, if you've ever seen a large object and a small object moving towards each other, that the large object is usually going to knock that small object back, right? Because that's because the large object has more momentum, okay? This is important when we're talking about collisions of vehicles or collisions of football players on a football field. The object with the larger momentum is going to carry out, it's going to, it's going to have move the other object. So let's, um, <clears throat> the units we use for momentum are, again, kilograms, the unit for mass, and meters per second, the unit for velocity. Okay, so let's look at an example of a problem with momentum, okay? Uh, again, uh, football players might like this. I've got a football player running right towards the goal line, and he weighs 100 kilograms, right, which is about 220 pounds. It's a big fullback, okay? Here's my goal line, okay? And I've got this defender coming at him. The defender's not quite as big. And he wants to stop him at the goal line to prevent a touchdown. So the mass of the defender is 75 kilograms. Okay, if they're running at the same velocity, what's gonna happen? Okay, well, I'm sorry, the same speed, right? Velocities are directional. So running at the same speed in the opposite direction, this guy's got more momentum and he's gonna end up in the end zone. Touchdown, okay? So this guy's gonna have to run a little faster than this guy, okay? So let's see how we would calculate that, okay? In order to stop the runner, the runner would have to have no velocity, right? No momentum, okay, at the goal line, right? Because no matter how big an object is, if it has no velocity, it has no momentum, okay? So we want to get zero kilograms times meters squared, okay, that's zero momentum, and that's gonna equal our running back, right, 100 kilograms, and his velocity is six meters per second, plus our defender, which is 75 kilograms, and we wanna figure out what the velocity of the defender is in order to equalize the momentum of the object coming at him, the larger player. Okay, so if we solve this, we get zero equals 600 kilograms meter squared, that's our unit for momentum, plus 75V, okay? And again, if we cancel, divide by 75 uh, kilograms, don't forget my units here, okay? Uh, and I divide this by 75 kilograms, okay? I'm going to get my zero momentum equals 600 divided by 75 is 8, and my mass cancels, so 8 meters per second plus V. So in order for something to equal, cancel out to equal zero, my velocity must be minus 8 meters per second. In other words, a velocity in the opposite direction as a velocity coming on. So that would cancel out. So this person would have to be running two meters per second faster than the larger individual, and they would have the same momentum, okay? So this is how you can calculate momentum, simply looking at the velocity of an object times the mass of the, of the object. That's the object's total momentum.